life has always flowed smoothly for me. At 45, I had resigned myself to loneliness, finding solace in the routine and accomplishments of my career. But I didn't know that a simple encounter in the parking lot would shatter my carefully constructed world and lead me to unexpected emotions and revelations. On a clear afternoon, I discovered I had a flat tire. Frustration was rolling in, my hands were muddy, and then a warm voice broke into my thoughts. Need help? The voice was accompanied by a friendly smile, and I lifted my head to meet the gaze of a man with striking blue eyes. His name was Brad, and at that moment, he became a key figure in my life. With his help, the tire was changed, and through laughter and the exchange of stories, an unspoken bond developed between us. Brad was 34 years old, a few years younger than me, but as we continued to spend time together, age seemed like a minor detail. His easygoing personality and magnetic charm drew me in, and before I knew it, our connection had blossomed into a full-blown relationship. His attentiveness made me feel valued, cherished in a way I had never felt before. One day he kissed me, and later we played sports right in the car. You know what I mean by the word sports. As our connection deepened, we decided to take the next step and move to live together. Despite the age difference, I had a renewed sense of confidence knowing that Brad saw something special in me. My friends were surprised when they met him his youthful exuberance and good looks contrasted with my more mature demeanor. In playing sports, he was simply marvelous. We practiced it three times a day. We were not confined to one bed. Brad radiated passion. We exercised anywhere we could, on the kitchen table, the washing machine, in the shower, in the hall on the carpet, and even the garage. Brad was very fast and hearty. Often, I would ask Brad to stop. Brad, I can't take it anymore, shouted I. But he wouldn't listen and kept going even faster. I liked it very much. I had never felt such pleasure with Brad with anyone else. Although I had always been pleased with myself, Brad's love motivated me to change. I embarked on a journey of self-improvement, experimenting with diet, makeup, and a renewed focus on my appearance. The desire to be worthy of Brad's love led me down a path of transformation I never expected. Months turned into memories as we transitioned together. My successful career allowed me to support both of us and even fulfill Brad's request to buy a motorcycle. I felt a surge of affection for him, his presence in my life reminding me that love can blossom in the most unexpected places. Over time, however, Brad's demeanor began to change subtly. Conversations became tentative, and he often seemed preoccupied. Doubt crept into my soul, so I asked him about his job search. At first, he said he was exploring all possibilities, but then he admitted that he was only looking at good jobs. He had only been offered a job in construction. Construction jobs are not for him. Construction to him is hard and dirty. He brushed them off, stating that they were not right for him. My anxiety grew as I noticed Brad's secretive behavior and evasive answers. One day, curiosity took over. I came across his motorcycle parked outside his luxurious home, and the impulse made me wait for his return. A few hours later, he emerged from the house accompanied by a woman named Cindy. Determined to get to the bottom of this, I approached Cindy and learned that Brad had deceived us both. He had spun tales of love to lure her out of her money and used his charm to manipulate her feelings. Together we dug deeper and discovered a whole history of lies and deceit. The man I thought I knew turned out to be an illusion he had never served in the military and his past was tainted by a fraud conviction. Facing the truth was a painful reckoning for Brad. The relationship that seemed like a shining beacon of light turned out to be nothing more than a mirage. 
I made the difficult decision to end my relationship with the man who had barged into my life and shaken its foundations. I got my motorcycle back, a bittersweet reminder of the journey we had embarked on. When the dust settled, I decided to heal myself and embrace my individuality again. No longer driven by a desire to conform to a pattern, I indulged in the pleasures I had been denied. Sweet treats became a new source of joy for me, and I took in three stray cats, finding companionship and solace in their presence. Amidst the chaos of new discoveries, one thing remained constant and inconspicuous vibrator, a symbol of self-acceptance and reliability. As the years passed, the vibrator remained a constant companion, a testament to the resilience that helped me through this journey of heartache and revelation. In the end, the story of my encounter with Brad became a story of growth and transformation. The scars left by his deception served as a reminder of my own strength, and I found my way back to the core of who I am an imperfect but resilient woman capable of embracing life's uncertainties and creating her own story.